games. Now we gotta play them all. So what about the Steam Train? Choo choo. Welcome back to Steam Train. Welcome back to Ross. Take these last two words. The show that you rush. Oh, okay, God, great. Damn it. Thank you. Uh, we are currently in darkness, Ross. What should we do in Dark. this beautiful darkness? Attack the darkness. Guys, whoa, whoa, whoa. hold Attack. on just a second. Just a second. Hmm? Do you think we're in space? Yes. Well, I know where we are, so. I know where we are. We're on the Vogon ship. I was trying to do a whole thing. Yeah, maybe we're in space because oh, it's dark. Yeah, well, what? Space right. isn't dark, though. There's plenty of things to see in space. Unless you're, like, inside of a nebula. Well, it depends where you are in space. Well, right? technically, we're always in space. Space is everywhere. Let's attack yeah, the space darkness. Yeah, space attack is everywhere. the dark. Did you ever think about the whole like the mm, thing about on. time travel, where like if you uh, Ross, I spent most of my research career thinking about issues around time travel. But isn't it cool when when you think about it? Like for instance, the Back to the Future car, like uh -huh. the DeLorean. Like, yeah. it, mm -hmm. that's technically, you know how they say it's a time machine. Uh -huh. well, technically, wouldn't it have to be a time and space machine? Because technically speaking, if you time travel to 1950, uh, the Earth would be in another location. Bro, bro, yeah. bro. Mm -hmm. Did you just bring up relativity? I, I think, think I you did. did. Mm. You know, space and time are actually the same thing, right? Yeah, I know. That's I the idea behind relativity. We're right. Is that you can't. So yes, the Earth does travel, mm -hmm. would travel around. I completely agree with you. Mm. I always assume that time machines, if properly constructed, will have some kind of compensator for mm -hmm. precisely that sort of oh. thing. I mean, what kind of idiot inventor would build a time machine that only traveled temporarily but not spatially? Oh, That'd be a pretty rank peasant. amateur move. Jeez. I know, right? Doc Brown was way smarter than that, and I think you should. He give made him the an credit ice machine deserves. in the 1880s. Yeah, that's right. What? He's a smart man. And don't forget that little, like, scale of the town. And his, like, helmet like, thing. From yeah. The 50s when <laughs> no, that thing said. was dope. Was yeah. I was just sweet. curious because yeah. he never said it did that, but it was pretty obvious. Well, no, you don't to. need to say it. It is yeah, obvious. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. Anyway, so there's nothing you can taste, nothing you can I'm gonna see, bring nothing up you can relativity hear, nothing again you can feel, later. nothing you can smell. You don't even know who you are. Oh, wrong. That's how dark um, this darkness it's is. It's so dark. Oh, uh, turn on light. Turn on light. You can see nothing, feel nothing, hear nothing, taste nothing, smell nothing, and are not entirely certain who you are. Wake up. You're not asleep, oh. ass. There's nothing you can taste, nothing you can see, nothing you can hear, nothing you can feel, nothing you can smell. You don't even know who you are. It's just dark, man. It's just dark. Open yeah, your have eyes. You, well, hold on. Open. Hmm? Yeah, keep going. Okay, keep going. Okay. You can see nothing, feel nothing, hear nothing, taste nothing, mm. and not even certain who you are. But this brings up an interesting question. What's the darkest place you've ever been? Hmm. Hmm. Not emotionally. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm. I went to an old, um, an old like villa, uh, like really old, and they had uh, old slave tunnels, and I went through them, and there's no lighting there, mm -hmm. and it was so dark that when you talked, the, um, the, 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 the sound you made would bounce back towards you, so it, while you're walking oh, down creepy. it, while you're walking down it, you could hear people walking towards you, but it was just your own footsteps. That's awesome. Whoa. And it, ter it scared the living, gee, fucking, wow. I could, I was so scared. Wow. Mm. To this day, I think about that, and I was like, that was horrifying. It's so, just pitch black. I've been in two subterranean caves. Mm -hmm. Actually, three. Uh, I've been in, in caves in France. Ooh, sweet. Uh, Lascaux, the, the cave paintings. You do, Barry, you did more traveling than I gave you credit yeah, I've for. I've done plenty of traveling. Episode. Fuck off. You don't know me. Oh, by the uh, way, I've also that was in Ireland. Ireland. Yeah. Outside of Salzburg, Austria. Uh -huh. I went in uh, salt underwater, underground salt lakes. Uh, wow. And that was super dark. And I've been in an underground cave in China. Which were oh, cool. super muddy caves, and you got like mud baths, and it was gross. Well, that's awesome. This is in the darkest place, but I went to the glowworm caves in New Zealand, and that mm. was the only thing. Like the Are only they light super source. light because of the glowworms. Well, yeah. I mean, it's here's the thing. It's it's very 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 dark. But the only light you see these like like tiny like barely emitting light like blue lights just everywhere. Just wow. Fucking, it looked like something out of uh, like Avatar. James Cameron's Avatar. Yeah. There you Did go. I tell you the story about that? Probably. I, I was sitting next to Janet Varney, who is the voice of. Korra from the the Avatar series, the, the animation, because we were doing a thing together for some show. Cool. And I was just like, yeah, I went to Hashtag New Zealand. humble brag, no, right? I'm just telling the story, because it's, it's relevant to the story. So um, I'm, I'm we're talking about uh, New Zealand, and I'm like, yeah, I went to the Glowworm Caves. It was just like, it was just like Avatar. And then I had to pause. I was like, other Avatar. Because <laughs> she's from uh, Avatar. Nice. Okay. The, the darkest place I ever was since... Mm -hmm. I feel it necessary to get my. No one was asking you. Please continue. Uh, mm -hmm. I was asking myself, Barry. Thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, was uh, a hotel room in Las Vegas that had blackout curtains. Thanks. That's pretty dark. It, it was real dark. The darkest place. <laughs> real dark. The darkest place I went was my much of my childhood. And yeah. It was dark, 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 dark yeah. days. No, dark I can I can see the pieces. kind of adult you became. So that's pretty much obvious. Yeah. So anyway, Ross, we can see nothing, feel nothing, hear nothing, taste nothing, and are not entirely certain who we are. 
Um, I would. Can I have phone a friend? Well, read closely. You can see nothing, feel nothing, hear nothing, taste nothing, mm. and not entirely certain who there. you. Are. Is there anything different between all the previous lines and then this line? Oh, that mm. is a good question. Mm. There's nothing. Something about this line feels shorter, doesn't mm. it? It does. You're right. There's nothing you can taste, nothing you can see. It, oh, is, this always reminds me of Pink Floyd lyrics. Nothing oh, yeah. You can feel, nothing there. you can smell. And all Wait, we're losing. So do we, just, do we just keep doing things and then we just eventually have less problems? Uh, wait. No, notice these lines are periodic. They repeat every two. Try awesome. wait. Let's try wait. Nothing you can taste, nothing you can see, nothing you can hear, nothing you can feel. You do not you not even know who you are. So it's not getting shorter. It got uh, shorter once, and now we're still here. So uh, what? uh, what's I, what's different, Ross? What's mm, different? Mm, 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 mm. Uh, how many? Well, here, here's a. I uh, actually wonder if Ross knows the answer to this. Ross, yeah. how many senses do you have as a human being? Is it is five? No. Six. No. No. Well, six senses. There's like movie. ten senses, bro. Well, I saw the Bruce Willis. I, I'm not movie. counting umami. <laughs> what well, about like like uh, was it proprioception and like all these other. I don't even know proprioception. Proprioception. What is that? I actually don't. Isn't know. it like like a sense of like where your limbs are or something like that? Is that why oh, I keep hitting you? Probably because you don't have. Because I don't really. have that. So because we ha we're always taught as kids that we have five senses. Yeah, but we actually have a lot more taught. senses. There's like a sense of where you are. Well, um, spatial, how, how many like, traditional like balance senses do you have, Ross? Yeah, traditional. The ones that you're taught in like fifth grade. The ones that maybe are being mentioned in this game we're playing. Yeah. I mean, that's what I thought. I thought yeah, it was five. five. Yeah, six. 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 Okay, so why don't, why, why don't you read this last okay. line and okay, see how many you count? There's nothing you can taste. There's nothing you can see. There's nothing you can hear. There's nothing you can feel. Now, I know this is a big number for you, but how many were there? There's four. What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I Who done figure, it? I need to figure out. Who what, done what, it? Ross, use that brain. Wait, sorry. Sorry. Think, think There's nothing real you can hard. taste. Okay. Yeah. There's nothing you can see. Okay. Yeah. There's nothing you can hear. Right. Uh -huh. There's nothing you can feel. Uh -huh. Okay. What's left? I already forgot. Fill in the blank. I this room, mouth, and this room, no blanks. smell. Oh. What? Smell it. Smell. Let's try smell. It does smell a huh. bit. How about that? There's I something pungent being smell. waved under your it nose. Did, your head away. begins to clear. You can make out a shadow moving in the dark. Hmm. Punch shadow. No, 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 don't. Say hello. Say hello. It doesn't understand. Mmm. -hmm. Let's uh let's try um I, I don't know like touch I what I don't know would go touch. to the go to shadow go to shadow it's here oh hello shadow say <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe inspect it more? inspect shadow sure look at shadow oh there we go the shadow is vaguely forward prefect shaped perfect vogue on hold. This is a squalid room filled with gr grubby mattresses. Uh, piece of Hitchhiker's Guide trivia oh, for you all. Mm -hmm. uh, where are mattresses from? Squanchelzada. Bro, you knew it. Hell yeah, man! Great job. Yeah, they. Did like, you know that it was? I was they, say they, that they, too. they live on Squanchelas Zeta. <laughs> Is it Squanchulous or Squanchulous? I don't remember. Actually, it might be Squanchulous. I, I thought it was Squanchulous, but it might be Squanchulous. Might be squanchulous. It's been a while. Barry, I am impressed that you knew yeah. that, dude. I oh, I feel like I can remember their verbs. They like they like foomph and ha and and flummo. Um, Oh, and whatever. God, it? It's like only verbs that mattresses Wait, can are do. mattresses yeah, yeah. aliens? They're alive. Uh, yeah, uh -oh. duh. Ross, get with the program. Well, I think they're they're killed and then shipped yeah. off. They're they're elsewhere. bred on Squanchless Zeta. They're very happy. And then creatures. they're they're captured hmm. and killed. Anyway, uh... uh unwashed cups and unidentifiable bits of smelly alien underwear. A door lies to the port and an airlock lies to starboard. Along one wall is a stall is a tall dispensing machine. In the corner is a glass case with a switch and a keyboard. It looks like the case contains an atomic vector plotter. Oh. Ford removes the bottle of Santraginian? Santraginian, yeah. let's yeah, call it that. Sure. Mineral water, which he's been waving under your nose. He tells you that you're aboard a Vogon spaceship and gives you some peanuts. Well, before anything else, we should probably do eat do? the peanuts. Yes. Eat the peanuts. When someone offers you free nuts, you take them and eat them. You feel stronger as the peanuts replace some of the protein you lost in the matter transference beam. Okay, Great good. job. But uh, then we should save. save. There you go, buddy. That, we have a note while Ross is coming up with his dumbass name. Mm -hmm. uh, we should note Douglas Adams actually co wrote yep. this game. Yeah, so with, there's a reason um, it's so funny. Steve Moretzky. Yeah, Steve Moretzky from Infocom. Yeah. Uh, this is Peanuts. Okay. Great job, Ross. Great. 
Um, before we go any further, I'm sure all the comments on the first episode of people familiar with this game are going to be on one thing alone. We actually have to go back. What? There's something that we didn't do on Earth that is going to make oh, the rest of the game impossible. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're what right. The fuck? So we actually have to restore an old save. Are you fucking serious? Back we go! Um, I think it's good to- I can't afford to lose. This won't take long. Um, so we have to go south. And then into the pub. I forgot about this, Barry. Good job. So, we didn't look at the shelves. Look at shelf. On the shelf behind the bar is, an un is a usual, the usual array of bottles, glasses, and soggy beer mats, some packets of peanuts, and a plate of uninviting cheese sandwiches. Now, Ross, given what you know, mm -hmm. what of those items would you probably like? We didn't read this part. Drink the beer or just for it. Oh, actually. Oh, that was from before. before. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Uh, it, I'm confused. Wait, sorry. What What am I looking at? So there's this bunch of stuff on the shelf of the pub. There's bottles, glasses, soggy beer mats, packets of peanuts, and a plate of uninviting cheese sandwiches. I guess the uninviting cheese sandwiches. Let's take a sandwich. The barman snaps. Hands off till you pay for it. Oh my. Ross, try to steal something. Pay for sandwich. That shit won't fly in the UK. Sandwich. The barman- oh, please, Brian. The barman gives you a cheese sandwich. The bread is like the stuff that stereos come packaged in. The cheese would be great for rubbing out spelling mistakes, and margarine and pickle have performed an unedifying chemical reaction to produce something that shouldn't be, but is, turquoise. Hmm. Since it clear, is clearly unfit for human consumption, you are grateful to be charged only a pound for it. Alright, so let's skip through the rest of this. Drink beer, drink beer, drink beer, and then let's go back out to the country lane. The little you, dog. You were a master at this game. I know, right? The little dog is barking at us. What should we do? Sandwich? Let's give that dog a sandwich. Give sandwich to dog. The dog is deeply moved with powerful sweeps of its tail. It indicates that it regards this cheese sandwiches sandwich as one of the great cheese sandwiches. That's like Shakespeare. Nine out of ten pet owners could have happened by at this point, expressing any preference they pleased. But this dog would spurn both them and all their tins. This is a dog which has met its main sandwich. It eats with passion. And ignores a passing microscopic space fleet. So remember earlier when that dog gulped uncomfortably? It was it eating a, a microscopic spa space fleet. Yeah. Oh, I remember this. This is this the is start gonna... of the movie. They said that they went to war and they got eaten by a dog. This yeah. is going to so pay off. We just prevented that dog from later. eating that space fleet. Yeah. Which would have made the game unplayable. Impossible. Are you so serious? Yes. Yep. This, That's game how this game is works. bullshit, man. All right. No, so... This game rules. Oh, it's awesome. Mean, I love it, but. I'm but, just- I'm already anticipating that all the comments of the first episode like, YOU DIDN'T GIVE THE SANDWICH TO THE DOG! And it's like, NO, I REMEMBERED! This is all about pacing. Oh, I gotta go, uh, north. North. Uh, okay, and then we can just wait a bunch, I think. Yeah, I waited a bunch. Um, Get that device, bro. Get that dev. Yep. So, you can actually press the red button, which calls an engineer, and it makes a little engineer robot come up to you, and he's like, what's the problem? And then the earth explodes. You can't interact with them. <laughs> uh, take device. This game is lovely. Uh, press green green button. All right, and then wait, 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 and smell. Wait. No, smell is still there. You have to wait till it disappears. Uh, look at shadow. Eat peanuts. All right, boom. Now, we're back. We're back. People. And Can now we've given a sandwich to a dog. Don't you want to save it again? Let's save it again. Do you want to Wait, help? I'll take this one. Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! Yes! Wow. I don't know if you're new here or not, but that is my job. <laughs> Brian rules. And Ross. Not drools? What the? How long ago did you go to school, man? Brian rules and Ross drools. Fine. Sucks, Sucks many, many asses. asses. Fine. <laughs> well, I way. like donkeys, so nice. you're probably... Okay, so... There's a bunch of stuff in this room, Ross. Yes. What would you like to take do? all? Take all. Keyboard. What a concept. Can't take a keyboard. <laughs> Ross, that's epistemologically troubling. <laughs> hmm. I like having you around, Brian. Yeah, I do too. It's a good time. I just like words. I'm gonna say. <laughs> Whoa! Something I just saw popped something up there. Uh, I'm gonna what? say. I it. Uh, don't, it, don't worry. It. It's probably no. nothing. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say that we should hmm. inspect. Yes. That. Do that. Look. So remember, we got mattresses, unwashed cups, unidentified bits of underwear, throw lights to port, an airlock to starboard, Ford is here, there's a dispensing machine, mm. a glass case with a switch and a keyboard, and an atomic vector plotter. An atomic vector plotter. In it's the just glass a, case. a basic atomic piece vector. of scientific equipment. 
Look at plotter. Mm -hmm. The atomic vector plotter is a small receptacle and a long dangly bit. It bears the small a small label which reads another, another fine, fine product, product of the serious cybernetic, cybernetic corporation. corporation. Okay, Barry, Hitchhiker's Trivia. What's their motto? Uh, or what does it translate as? Unfortunately. Shit. Is it? Is it? Oh, I don't remember. Well, there there's kind of two answers. The typical one is share and enjoy. Right. Right. Yeah. But I believe due to a mistake. Uh, at some place, let's see what happened. It was uh, part of the letters were obscured, and it appears as "go stick your head in a pig," <laughs> right, in a different language. Yeah, share and enjoy. Thank you for that. Oh, do you want me to do a thing? Okay. Um, uh, Jesus. So uh, I'm gonna say, can we use? It's in a glass case. We okay. Can't. Yeah, can, can we smash? I mean, the there glass? is there is a switch and a keyboard next to that glass case. <laughs> use <laughs> use compute use switches use. Press Keyboard, switch. Press switch. Oh, a recording plays. You can't, I can't understand. It's just kind of Vogon stuff. Oh, I know this. Get it. Talk. Well, actually, to... Ross, can you read that to us, please? Which one? What the, it says a recording plays. Now, please read that. Oh, sure. A recording plays. Actual balls, the muscle, super directional OP for your claims to five. Rolfen lives in screen glasses, real twice in real life, and he'll see the soul of all his loving jokes while he beats the girl boy. Wow. I am substantially <laughs> impressed. Really that was pretty sweet, man. Thank you. That was not bad. Now not do it backwards. All. Okay. <laughs> Four years Ford yawns. Matter transference always tires me out. I'm going to take a nap. Hell yeah, Ford. He places something on top of his satchel. If you have any questions, here's the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. That's High the five, that's the name of the game, game. one. Oh, yeah. High five this, Ross. Nice. Footnote 14. Oh, footnotes. Huh? Maybe we should uh, access those in a minute. Hmm. Ford lowers his voice to a whisper. I'm not supposed to tell you this, but you'll never be able to finish the game without consulting the guide about lots of stuff. As he curls up in a corner and begins snoring, you pick up the Hitchhiker's Guide. It says don't panic on it. I remember that. It does. Don't Maybe we should look at that. Look uh, at guide. Well, but, but, but what about oh. the footnote, 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 footnote? How do we access footnotes? I believe you just type footnote 14. Footnote 14? Maybe. No. Oh. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is also the name of a terrific work of interactive fiction by Douglas Adams and S. Eric Moretzky. Hmm. But then again, you must already know that since you bought one. That's true. It's a good footnote. Uh, look at guide. The guide is a Mark II model. Its only resemblance to the Mark IV, pictured in the brochure in your game package, is the large, friendly Ross. Oh, sorry, I wasn't reading. Wait, 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 oh, wait, wait. Don't panic. Christ. Don't panic. Don't panic. The guide is a sub-ether relay. You can use it to tap information from a huge and distant data bank by consulting the guide about some item or subject. So it's basically Wikipedia about 15 years before Wikipedia existed. That's More amazing. than that, right? No. Uh, like, uh, well, I guess yeah, the original story is right, right there. It's his 30th, 30th yeah. anniversary. Well, that's just the, the game. The yeah, game so is this, 30th. This yeah, but the original, the original story was oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. from the late 70s, yeah, yeah, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's let's not panic. Maybe even let's take their advice. Why not? Your position appears quite hopeless. Then let's, let's panic. panic. Not surprised. No. Okay, uh, let's consult the guide. About what, Barry? Uh, I don't know. What do uh, you want to know about? Let's consult a guide about language. On language, don't know what language. Um, I mean, learn about Vogons. Yeah, Vogons. Oh, I wish I had Bill Nye's voice, just like the movie. <laughs> yeah. The guy checked through its sub Ethernet database and eventually comes up with the following entry: Vogons, whose specialties are bureaucracy and planet smashing, are the most unpleasant race in the galaxy. They wouldn't think twice about throwing someone into space, and wouldn't lift a finger to save their own grandmother from the ravenous bug bladder beast of Troll. Also see the entries on Vogon Poetry and the Ravenous Bug Letter Beast of Troll. You said it was it was Stephen Fry in the movie, right? Uh, it was Stephen Fry. Oh, yeah, sorry. I said Fry. Bill Nye. You're yeah, absolutely Bill right. Nye. It was uh, Nye. Nye. You're right. It was Stephen Fry. It was Stephen Fry. Uh, yeah, it was oh, Stephen Fry. Rookie mistake on my part. Sheesh. Jesus. Oh. Stephen Fry has a great voice. Yeah, he's the best. Uh, mm. Do you want to learn about one of those things? Yeah, consult, uh, consult Vogon po Poetry. Vogon poetry is so awful that even the sarcopsy of Burfon 12, whose religion strictly forbids the taking of one's life, considers suicide a, prevent, a preferable alternative to a Vogon poetry reading. Damn. <laughs> it's pretty intense. Okay. Oh, and their Vogons are the, the TV series version of Vogons. Yeah. Weird. Mm. They're really gross. I'm not, not a, a big fan. fan of those. No. The ones in the movie are actually pretty good. 
Yeah, yeah I like the ones. I like movie. that movie. I'm gonna say it. It Did wasn't you know that perfect, Arth- but I thought it was really good. Did yeah. you know I haven't seen it, but apparently Arthur Dent was actually in an episode of the old Doctor Who. Well, uh, oh, really? Douglas yeah. Adams wrote a number of episodes of Doctor yeah, Who. Yeah, yeah. Arthur series. Dent was in it. He was also in uh, in a couple of Python episodes, I think. Or yeah, one, yeah. He's right? good friends with a couple yeah, yeah, yeah. of. The... Um, but oh, I don't know where my phone is. Can we scroll up? We can. Uh, oh, you're reading about the rabbit. You destroyed so most of a small all right. See, uh, let's. Oh, oh, oh God. no! That's exactly what I wanted to avoid. All right, here we go. The ravenous bug bladder beast of Troll is a mind-bogglingly stupid animal. It has almost no capacity for learning from experience, and is therefore surprised. It's kind of like you, Ross. Mm-hmm. Therefore surprised by virtually everything that happens to it. Here's an example of how stupid oh. it is. It thinks that if you can't see it, it can't see you. Its behavior would be quite endearing if it wasn't spoiled by this one thing. It is the most violently carnivorous creature in the galaxy. Avoid, avoid, avoid. Damn. It is, of course, well known that careless talk... This is talk- unrelated to that. Yes. Careless talk costs lives. Oops. Oh, jeez. Sorry. Berry. It's a really finicky scroll wheel. There you go. It is, of course, well known that careless talk costs lives, but the full scale of the problem is not always appreciated. For instance, the exact moment you said, consult guide on language. Oh, that was you, Ross. Mm-hmm. A freak you wormhole that. opened to the fabric no! of the space-time continuum and carried your words far, far back in time across almost infinite reaches of space to a distant galaxy where strange and warlike beings were poised on the brink of frightful interstellar battle. The two opposing leaders were meeting for the last time. A dreadful silence fell across the conference table as the commander of the Valhurgs, resplendent in his black jeweled battle shorts, gazed shut up, gazed levelly at the Gaguvan leader squatting opposite him in a cloud of green, sweet smelling steam. As a million sleek and horribly beweaponed star cruisers poised to unleash electric death at a single word of command, the Valhurg challenged his vile enemy to take back what it had said about his mother. Yep. The creature stirred in his sickly, broiling vapor, and at that very moment, the words, consult God on language. Those are your ro- your words, Ross. Ross. You did this. You did that. Drifted across the conference table. Unfortunately, in Valherg tongue, this was the most dreadful insult imaginable, and there was nothing for it but to wage terrible war for centuries. Eventually, the error was detected, but over 250,000 worlds, their peoples and cultures, perished in the Holocaust. You have destroyed most of a small galaxy. Please, Ross. Pick your words with greater care from now on. Consult Jesus, guide on language. How, how, how do you live with yourself? Wait, no, I'm not doing that again. Don't, don't Jerk. All right, um, I think that's enough of the guide for now. Uh, so what we got? We got all this stuff going on. Mm. So Ford took a nap, and he put down his satchel and his towel. Maybe okay. we should do something about that? Mm, you want to do a good old-fashioned takeoff? Yay! Yay! Oh, he took his, towel, his satchel and towel. Huh, I oh, what... well, you need the towel. No, no. Mm-hmm. Don't forget to bring a towel. It's covered with little pink and blue flowers. Oh, wow. It says, don't panic on it, according to the See little that? picture. Every hitchhiker should know where their towel is. That's true. All right. Uh, what do you, you want? You know, I hear, uh, actually, Barry, can I ask you a question? Please. Sass you, that hoopy Ford prefect, there's a fruit who really knows where his towel is. That's some good shit right there. Yeah. I'll give you a five for that. Damn. He's pretty hoopy. He's a hoopy fruit. Knows where his towel is. I Real. Know you about. sass that who the food. <laughs> Ross doesn't sass that who before <laughs> preset. He doesn't sass him. <laughs> what an ass. What the, ugh. Clearly not a hitchhiker, bro. No. I'm okay. Not. <laughs> uh, I'm as confused as most of the audience. Okay. Everyone, literally everybody knows. Let's what we're talking look about. at the tall dispensing machine, huh? Sass sure. means. Right, wait, we should we should define terms. Sass means know, mm-hmm. be aware of, mm-hmm. or have sex with. Right. Right. Yes. Hoopy. That's Means a really together guy, right? And a fruit is a really amazingly together guy. That's true. So Ross, now parse parse these words I'm saying to you. All right, sass you, that hoopy Ford prefect. There's a fruit who really knows where his towel is. Mm-hmm. Now, what I'm asking you is, did you have sex with Ford prefect, who's a really cool guy? No. Well, okay. That, I mean, that's that's like the that machine. The dispenser is tall, has a button at around eye level, and says Babblefish in large letters. Anything dispensed would probably come out at the slot at around knee level. Oh! There's a small level of uh, labeled trees, and they're fine probably series of I know what Babblefish is because I used it to cheat on an Italian uh, essay once. Mm-hmm. What? And yeah, I had, there was I, a translation I, website called, called Babblefish. Babble oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought you meant an actual Babblefish, <laughs> no, which I would have been surprised because I'm pretty sure this is a work of fiction. So, so true story, uh, I okay. had to do Italian in high school. I don't know why Italian. Because it's next to Australia. I guess. Yeah. Um, and basically, uh, I had to do this, This I had to write an essay, I had to write a short story 
in Italian. And what I'd have to do is go through my like language book and figure it out. And it's like, I don't fucking do this. So I literally went on Babelfish and I wrote, I wrote a story that was like, like written like a, a first grader wrote it on <laughs> intentionally in English. I was like, yeah. I love my dog. I went to park with my dog and then we played ball and it was fun. We went home and slept on the couch. I love my dog. And then hit translate and hands it in. I got an A. <laughs> <laughs> and the, nice. the grammar was fucking awful. And she's like, this was amazing. You did a great job. Wow. Can I Next really fish. Can you be, a lot of vocabulary. Can your uh, high school degree, or was that grammar school? High school? What was that? That was, that was high school. Can that degree be retroactively like taken away from you now that you've admitted this publicly? I think it's like if you if you admit to like uh, a crime a few years past, it doesn't matter anymore. Statutes of limitations. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Well, I, I thought Australia had no statute of limitations for anything. All well, crimes when there were, is a convict, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I thought all yeah. crimes were punishable forever. If I lose my high school degree, I'll get fired from Game Grumps. Yeah, you will. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Aaron doesn't Aaron's have one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he insists that everybody else does. Right, exactly. Yes, yeah, so that's, well, he that's did, he Aaron's one rule. GE, right? I think so. Yeah, he took a test. You're yeah. right, you're right. But uh, anyway, so the, the babblefish is a mind-bogglingly impo improbable creature. Improbable. A babblefish when placed in one's ear allows one to understand any language. So I wonder what we should do here then. Put it in our ear. We don't have a belt. Oh, yeah. get ask the one. dispenser. Duh. Get one from the dispenser. Okay, so you want to... Why don't um, we look at, look at that dispenser. Fish, Ross, look at the fucking description of the dispenser. It's a, mm -hmm. it's what, tall, what do you notice about it? It has a button oh. at around oh. eye level. You want to I'll put that, your eyes into you it. Press, you want to press that button? Put press your ear button. to it. I don't think that's... Press that button. <laughs> press button. Button. Uh, Which button um, do you mean? The dispenser button, the red button, or the green button? Uh, dispenser button. Those sorry. are the buttons on the hitchhiker's thumb. That was disgusting. It tasted bad. Okay, are you ready for the uh, most bullshit puzzle ever? No, are you ready for me to a read this? A single babblefish shoots out of the slot. It sails across the room and through a small hole in the wall, just, just under, under a, a metal, metal hook. hook. An announcement is coming over the ship's intercom. So all after we struggle How could something that requires so much skill be so amazingly boring? Is what I want to know about that. <laughs> Thank you. I was I, I was I didn't think you were gonna do the whole thing and you did. Yeah, you really did yeah, it. I did and it. we Thank felt you. every second of every, it. Every every second was an eternity. Um Okay, so we press the button for the battlefish, and it shoot a, it shot across the room and through a small hole in the wall oh, under. No, a you lost your battlefish, Ross. Chase the battlefish. We, we cannot. Went, oh, went through a small hole there's wall. there's infinite battlefish in that dispenser. Hit the button again. Okay, but put my ear and catch it with my ear. It, it the exact same thing happened. Mm, put ear to hole. Is there a hole? If we stopped it from entering the hole. So here, here's a question, Ross. Oh, put something in front of the hole. Ah, but what? But what? What do you have? We can check a our inventory. Towel. Let's look at our inventory. Would well, you want to try place towel on hook? You're not holding the towel. Oh, Ross. Hold towel? Wait, I don't understand that either. Take towel? What's it just don't we... inventory? Okay, let's just try inventory. Let's see where we are. We have a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. We do have a towel. Why is it saying we don't have a towel? I don't understand that. I think it's a... Uh, the towel is not the right answer. So, the, oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh, say... well, but, but, but what's that third thing in the inventory? Uh, oh, the th stupid it's thing. It's back. Right? Oh, the thing in your. The I thought I dropped that shit. It well, fell you, away, you, you but you can't get rid of it, man. You've been trying for years. For years. Oh, it keeps coming back. That's yeah. funny. Is All it? right, <laughs> put it in the hole. That is some text-based humor. Put what? The thing in the hole? Yeah. Put your thing in the put hole. Put thing in hole. Yeah, just put it in there. Doesn't fit through the hole. Put it in front of the hole. Put thing in front of hole. It slips off the hook. Oh, so you're trying to hang it on the hook. Okay, so hang thing on hole. Hang thing, thing hung on, on hook. hook. This slips off the hook. Give, give up, Ross. This this strategy isn't working. You want something else on that hook, though. What else could you put on a hook? What thing uh, do you have that is kind of naturally a satchel could go on a hook. 
It's not the well, that's sat- not a totally Wait, stupid answer. Oh, we can try that. Hang satchel on hook. Slips off the hook. Oh, well. Mm, fuck you. What else do you have? Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. I mean, I don't. I don't. Let's let's go through one at a time. Okay. Mm-hmm. No T. Could you hang that on a hook? No. 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 Well, right. that Towel slips off the hook. The, the Hitchhiker's hook. Guide. Could you hang that? You on don't want to get rid of that. No, I need that. Electronic subethic signaling device. Doesn't have any hook. Loose pile things. of junk mail. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Even suggested. A toothbrush. No. No. Flathead screwdriver. No. Your gown. Well, I mean, we're wearing that. Well, how could you fix that? Now, Ross, here's a question. Okay. Take off. Well, but, but no, no. Here's I actually have a legitimate question mm-hmm. for you. All right. You're at home. You're fully dressed, but you want to shower. What do you do? Get naked. Oh. Get naked. Oh, we uh, no, I didn't mean gown. that. I said take off gown. You're no longer wearing your gown. Okay. Put cover gown. You hang up gown. The gown is now hanging from a hook, covering a tiny Yay! hole. Okay. Now use the. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you just fed him that one. A single babble fish shoots out of the slot. It sails across the room and hits the dressing gown. The fish slides down the sleeve of the gown and falls to the floor, vanishing through the grating of a hitherto unnoticed drain. Oh, you hadn't noticed it before. There was a drain. So now you, what do you got to do, mm-hmm. Ross? So now we Put towel on the drain. Put towel on drain. Yeah. The towel completely covers the drain. Nice. nice. Now try again. Look at that drain. Large, smelly, drain-like, the perfect place to put something for safekeeping if you never wanted to see it again. Mm-hmm. It has holes, more holes, and pretty much holes everywhere. Uh, let's press that button. Press again. that button. And just... There we go. A single battle fish shoots out of the slot. It sails across the room and hits the dressing gown. The fish slides down the sleeve of the gown and falls to the floor, landing on the towel. Okay. However... Okay. A split second later, a tiny cleaning robot whizzes across the floor, grabs the fish, and continues its breakneck, breakneck pace towards the tiny robot panel on the base of the, vault, of the wall. I can't talk. <laughs> the robot zips through the panel and is gone. Mm. So it landed on the towel, and then this little robot zipped it up and disappeared through a panel. Through a robot panel. Through a little robot panel. Can you call an engineer? Can I ask a question? Yes. Mm-hmm. Why didn't the robot clean up the towel? Well, it's on the floor. Yeah, know. isn't that its job? Uh, it's selective. It only cleans up I've, things. The towel became the part of the this floor. This game is inconsistent. Very much so. Uh, what about, if could we kill it? No. Put mail... R- robots aren't alive, Ross. Put mail on the ground. So we did uh, mail. drop that satchel when we tried to hang it on the hook, so I'm just going to take that back. Nice one, Barry. Thank oh, you. good idea. Mm-hmm. Um, where, where did the robot disappear through, Ross? I I, what, I don't remember. It where was a panel. 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 Oh, the screw the panel. Use the screwdriver. Oh, the smart, smart, smart. Mm. Let's try that. Uh, screw Ooh. panel. Don't know where it's in screw. Um, Let's look at that panel. Look, look at panel. Look, yeah. look at panel. The panel, only a few inches high, is currently closed. Might be easier if we just blocked it, Ross. Yeah. Screwing a shot. Well, what do we have to block it with? Oh, uh, do we have anything that might be considered trash or, dare I say, junk? Uh, the thing. The thing? Yeah. Oh, did we drop the thing? Take thing. Uh oh. Guards burst in and grab you and Ford, who slowly, come slowly awake. They drag you down the corridor to a large cabin where they strap you into large, menacing chairs. I think we have to go back here. Yeah, we can't speak the language. Captain's quarters in the poetry appreciation chair. This is the captain of the Vogon, the cabin of the Vogon captain. You and Ford are strapped into poetry appreciation chairs. The captain is indescribably hideous, indescribably blubbery, and indescribably mid to dark green. I think we need to go Hold back. Yeah, I think we're going to go get that bad. Lunch restore. Got to get that bad fish. But you know when we should do that, maybe? Next month's theme train? Next time on Steam Oh train. my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Loving that enthusiasm, Ross. Okay. That was better. That was much better that time. 